hello and welcome to CSA systems and in today's video I'm going to talk about the wireless communication between two Arduinos using the NRF24 L01 module so welcome again and let's get started first thing I'm going to be talking about the NRF24 module uh, this module it's um, very popular and used in the wireless communication between uh, on different projects nowadays and this one uh, it operates on the 2.4 gigahertz R, uh, frequency so and this module actually is uh, a transceiver so it's a, a transmitter and a receiver at the same time and this module operates on the voltage between 3.3 and 3.6 volt and highly recommended is a uh, 3.3 volt and nominal current is used uh, 50 milliamp uh, this module comes on two different shapes it comes with built-in uh, on the on a PCV antenna and the other module with external antenna so with the one that comes with the internal antenna the distance range or the range of the communication goes from 50 to 200 feet and the one that comes with the antenna or the external antenna uh, the range uh, uh, goes more than 800 meters it operates on the the maximum uh, current use it's uh, 250 milliamps the communication protocol it's uh, spy the baud rate uh, it range between 250 kilo uh, kilobyte per second to 2 megabit per second and the channel range it, got, it has 125 channels uh, you can use any anything from 0 to 125 so the maximum pipelines are 6 it's a very low cost wireless solution for the one with built in antenna it costs about 2 to 3 dollars with the one that's uh, with the external antenna I bought these ones with external antenna two pieces uh, two pieces for ten dollars with a free delivery you can get them from eBay Amazon they are available everywhere to the ground of the AMS regulator and connect it to the ground of the NRF module. Next, we are going to connect the pin number 9 of the Arduino to the pin to the CE pin of the NRF module and then we're going to connect pin number 10 of the Arduino to the CSN pin of the NRF module and then we're gonna connect pin 11 of the Arduino to the master out slave N of the NRF and we're gonna connect pin number 12 of Arduino to the master N slave out of the NRF module and we're gonna connect the pin number 13 
serial clock pin of the NRF module. And what I'm going to do, actually what we need is two Arduinos, two NRF, so we can have a communication between them. And what I did, I'm going to add a push button and we're gonna connect this push button to the pin number eight. And this push button is gonna be pulled up. So the other leg of that push button is going to be connected to the ground. So the pull up resistor that puts the pin on always high on high until we push that button is gonna change the um the status of the pin to low so i used the internal pull-up resistor and what i did also i added an led so what i'm gonna do i'm going to control the this led from the other uh push button on the other uh, I'm gonna call them receiver and transmitter so the transmitter wh when we press on the transmitter is gonna turn on the LED on the receiver and if we turn uh, if we push the button on the receiver is gonna turn on the LED on the on the transmitter so we're gonna connect the LED to 10k resistor and from the 10k resistor we're gonna connect it to the pin number three and I will show you in a moment why number three you can actually use it use any pin of them but I'll show you why in a moment and you can connect the ground pin and the, as you can see there is a lot of wiring here so what I decided instead of um, using the breadboard I actually designed this like a little shield for both Arduinos and as you can see on this picture, I have R, which is the receiver, and this is T as in transmitter. And I selected number three. The reason why, because this shield, it covers all the other pins. So the closest one is number three, and this wire is for the LED. So that's why. All right, and now we are going to the coding. What we need is, we need uh, the libraries that we are going to use today, SPI, that SPI, it uh, comes built in with Arduino IDE, so we don't have to worry about downloading it. And the other one is the RF24, which is, I'm going to download, uh, I'll show you how to download it right now. Alright, the first thing, I'll be looking at the transmitter, that transmitter code, and before we look at the code, I'll show you how to download the uh, RF module, which is right here, RF library. What you want to need to do, go to the tools, actually to the sketch, and include library, manage libra libraries, waiting for the list to be updated, and when it's done, go ahead and type in RF24, and once you type that one, you're gonna need to scroll down until you see where it says RF24 by TMRH20 and the version I'm using as of today it's 1.3.2 and this one I mean the code is based on this uh, version of the library so because I have it already installed I'm not gonna install it again in your case if it's not installed please go ahead and click on install and when this is done go ahead and click on close okay so you need to install the SPI uh, library and these two libraries for the NRF24 and <clears throat> I defined the LED for a pin number three and then I defined the button the push button for on number eight the pin number eight and then I put a boolean button says zero uh, equals zero and then I have a receiver and the input and these are arrays and each each one the receiver and the input have three elements on each one and I define the RF24 as a radio and I select the CE pin as a number nine and CSN pin as a number ten and here I 
selected the addresses or the pipes I will use pipe two pipes on a setup very basic I'll uh, try uh, I included the serial pin mode LED as an output digital right digital right of the LED is gonna be low to turn it off and the pin mode of the button again as I mentioned before is gonna be put input pull up I use the um, internal pull up resistor and we're gonna start the radio with radio begin command and then radio open reading pipe and here we are going to use only one pipe and that pipe is gonna be zero which is number one as you can see reading from the pipe number one and on the radio open writing pipe address one I am going to be right which is I'm going to be sent reading is receiving writing is sending so I'm going to receive from the pipe number one and then send to the pipe number two and here we can set the level uh, there is mm, uh, minimum and there's maximum so I always uh, recommend to do the maximum so you can have the most range the better range and then I set the data to RF24 uh, underscore 250 kilobit per second so that because I don't have a lot of information to be transmitted so I put it on the minimum so I can have better range all right on the loop the first thing what we're gonna do is we are going to send so the radio what I did on the first command you can stop listening because we are going to send and then what I do on the input element 0 which is element number one I'll put I put it uh, digital read so whatever it's the status of the push button if it's high or low it's gonna put it on the input zero element one and then here I put the serial just for debugging it will show you what is the status and also what I did is I I'm going to send that code radio dot write and on the first parameters it's saying what what do you want to send I'm going to send the input so I selected only the input which means I'm sending three elements if you can remember input array it's three so I'm going to send all the three elements in one message and here's the other parameters the second parameter is the size of so it's a buffering so I told her uh, I put an input so I'm sending just a buffer of the input whatever is the size of the input I'm going to send it and then on the receiving side which I'm going to receive from the own um, receiver I am going to start listening that mean when whenever I start the listening it is going to stop uh, stop sending so now on when when I put the start listening I'm on the receiving mode if the radio available that mean if there is a communication between two radios go ahead and put yourself on the read which is receiving and what I did is I put a receiver which is again this is the three if you can see it's the same so this one is going to be input I'm sending it to the receiver and then from receiver I'm I'm receiving the same input which is the three uh, elements of the array and I'm packing them all on the receiver and what I'm receiving is the size of receiver as you can see here again it's the same thing it's just this the naming is input and receiver so that I can identify which one is the receiver and the input and when I pack them on the receiver here I'm printing the receiver and if I received on the zero on the receiver element one if it's zero if it's equal equal zero then the digital right is gonna be high again do you remember when I told you the push button if it's pressed that mean it's low which is zero and then if it's pushed that mean it's zero and then turn on the LED if the receiver is 
equal one which is on the without pushing it the LED is gonna stay on the low I'll show you here the receiver code comparing to the transmitter so as you can see for all the setup it's all the same from the setup all up to the SPI library it's all the same you see here it's identical the only different the only different is going to be the, the loop so on the loop I put the sending first and receiving later on the receiver I flip them I put receiving first and then the sending later so I will be putting these two codes on the description below in this video so you can take a look on it on yourself so what we're gonna need to do is we are going to upload this sketch to the Arduinos so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and connect the transmitter first now I have the transmitter connected I'm gonna go to the tools board make sure is Arduino the COM port 8 Arduino I'm gonna go ahead and upload it and once this one is done I'll go ahead and upload the receiver as you can see now done uploading I'm gonna disconnect the transmitter and then connect the receiver and I'll show you here that the port changed to the COM port 4 make sure it's Arduino so I'm sorry I gotta look at the receiver I'm gonna go ahead and upload the receiver right here as you can see here the receiver code has been uploaded to the receiver now what I'm going to do I'll show you a video how they are communicating one to each other so after the code is uploaded to them what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this is the transmitter if I press let me try to focus it if I press the push button on the receiver it turns on on the receiver and if I put it on the receiver it's gonna turn on on the transmitter as you can see here and actually I can press them both let me see if I can do that do you see even if this one is if you keep pushing it the LED stays on and if I push the other one you see how it's two-way communication if I release that one and that one keeps working for today's video uh, we are done if you have any question please leave it in the comment other than that thank you for watching please consider subscribe to support us so we can have more videos in the future thank you for watching again and have a good day